Hi, my name is Alice Leach. I'm a professor at the Vanderbilt Institute of Nanoscale Science and Engineering, and we need to talk about silicon. Silicon is a semiconductor, which means it has electrical characteristics between a metal and a plastic. But why should you care? Well, there's a high probability that you're carrying around a smartphone right now. You may even be watching this video on one. And that means you're carrying around a tiny piece of silicon in your pocket. Silicon is the basis of the brain of your smartphone or computer, the microchip. On a microchip, there are billions of tiny electronic components called transistors. Each one is nanometers in size, which is why we're in a clean room lab. Particles of dust and dirt can destroy tiny devices, so we fabricate them in a room like this, with 100,000 fewer dust particles than the air you're breathing. So why silicon? Well, it all comes back to that semiconductor thing. If you have silicon with a few impurity atoms added and give it a little bit of electrical energy, it conducts. Without electrical energy, it insulates. Material scientists and engineers use this property to design a switch that you can operate electrically. So a circuit is on when you add electrical energy to the silicon and off when you take it away. On and off. One and zero. That is the basis of binary code, the way that your computer processes data and you get to watch adorable puppy videos. All that from a tiny piece of silicon and material science and engineering makes it possible.